Hello everybody, welcome back to Nature Calls. Anthony here, and in this video I'm going to talk about my uh, almost 500 mile road trip in the Tesla Model Y from New Jersey all the way down to Virginia. This is the first road trip in this car, put some good miles on it, had to stop at some superchargers and things like that because we did stay there a couple of days, and then we drove back home. So I just want to cover some points, I got some clips from the road and things like that, and just share you know, my overall experience on traveling you know a pretty long distance in the model y okay so got the car behind me uh charging up funny thing is as i'm filming this we're actually prepping to go uh tomorrow on another road trip this one we're gonna drive from new jersey all the way across the country to ohio I know for some that's not really all the way across the country, but when you live on the coast, going to Ohio is it's pretty far inland, uh, at least at least by by my standards. Uh, that will be a good eight-hour drive or so. Uh, we're gonna have to stop it again some uh, superchargers. Uh, that one's gonna be interesting because uh, the supercharging infrastructure, it seems like through PA into Ohio is all right, but not not that great. So, you know, stay tuned for a future video, kind of like this one, you know, uh, about the trip. So I have a list here. Let's get into my trip from New Jersey to Virginia, how it went, and things like that. Uh, overall, the trip went great. Uh, the car performed great. Uh, I spent most of the trip on uh, the full self-driving, uh, navigating on autopilot. So the car was driving itself. I was just babysitting. And overall... It did a really good job. Uh, the highway stuff was pretty much a breeze. Uh, there was a couple points here and there where it was, I would say, it was very cautious about things. Whereas me, as a you know, as a human driving, would not worry about some things. But um, there was a couple times where it would hit the brakes because of uh, you know trucks and how they were merging in. Um, there was one time where it slowed down because of a of an overpass, and as it goes up to the overpass, it thinks that it's lower than it is, so it hesitates a little bit and actually hits the brakes a little bit, and then it realizes, oh, I can go under this, and then it proceeds to go back up to the speed limit you have set and continue on. Um, other than that, though, it did a great job taking uh, the off ramps, which was really cool. And uh, other than that, I think navigating on autopilot for the highway was fantastic unless you ran into some weather. And we did run into weather on the way home. Uh, you know, the rainstorm did have navigate on autopilot click off a couple times, but it wasn't a big deal because it turned back on and it wasn't at times that we were actually, uh, you know, getting off the road or merging onto another road. Now, some things it did get confused at. Uh, the auto, the, the full self-driving autopilot was, it got confused about circles, or some people call them roundabouts. Um, it <laughs> did not know what to do with those things. Um, it'll be interesting to see how Tesla implements that uh, in the future, because that's, that's, that's something all in itself. It's kind of like the Wild West, and there's usually no lines on those, uh, those circles or those roundabouts. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, you know, Tesla adapts to that and how Tesla itself actually, you know, gets their self-driving algorithm and, you know, computer learning to actually learn how to navigate that properly and, you know, effectively because people are, people are crazy, at least in New Jersey when it comes to roundabouts. Um, let's see. I'd also need some help on very long intersections. Uh, there, there's one in New Jersey where it's probably three or four intersections, but it's just one very long intersection because uh, there's roads coming in at, at odd angles. They're not your nice, pretty square. Uh, they're coming in at an odd angle, so they just made the intersection extra long. Uh, on the way up, uh, the autopilot kind of kind of got lost a little bit, and I had to take over. On the way back home, though, uh, I must have been following the other vehicle and seeing the path it was taking. Uh, it did it without a problem, so a little bit of hesitation uh, on the first one that required me to take control of it. Um, other than that, uh, back again, great on the highway. Um, it did great through construction, too, uh, which was interesting. 
I thought it was going to have a problem with lane shifts and things like that, but uh, it, it did them way better than actually most of the human drivers on the road at the time. Uh, so that, that does say a lot that uh, I really feel like in, in some situations, uh, autopilot is with self-driving is really starting to outclass a lot of your average drivers out there. Uh, it does seem to have a slight problem uh, with cars merging from the left. Um, I don't know if that has to do with the programming or, or what, but it just seems like there is a bit of a bias, and uh, the car definitely hesitates a little bit more about, you know, merging cars from the left. We'll see, though. You know, obviously, I haven't put 10,000 miles on this. I think we're at, like, 2,500 now uh, total miles on the car. I will do a, a more official update video on all, all that and all the daily driving. But uh, so far, so good. Um, oh, there was a couple times where um, it thought the overhead signs where it would be like, oh, easy pass lane or uh, tunnel ahead, and it has the flashing uh, yellow lights. Uh, there was a couple times where the car thought that that was actually a yellow light, and I had to proceed to let it know that no, <laughs> no, we are, we're not, we're not braking. This is, this is just a, a warning light telling you, hey, there's a tunnel up ahead, or, you know, uh, I don't know, bridges open, things like that, you know, your normal warning lights. Uh, I got confused on a couple of those. Other ones it was perfectly fine on. Uh, next up is uh, the supercharging because, well, you got to charge at some point. Uh, the first facility, the supercharging facility we went to was, I think, a version 2. Um, it was pretty quick. I think we got up to uh, five or s 500 miles an hour charging, uh, which seemed pretty quick. We hit the bathroom. Uh, by the time we got back to the car, uh, it was basically charged up and ready to go, which was great because we need to stop for a bathroom break anyway. Uh, I think we had lunch too at the same time. And then after that, we were ready to continue on and well, that charge got us to our destination. Um, other than that, we had to charge in the area that we were in. Charging was great there. Again, uh, a whole bunch of level two chargers. Uh, and then, you know, the 100, I think the 150 watt chargers, um, uh, on the way home though, we got to hit, I guess the new V3s, maybe V4s, I'm, you know, sorry, I'm, it's, I think it's V3, uh, it's the, the 200 watt chargers, unbelievably fast, like absolutely ridiculous, uh, I think it got up to like 800 miles, uh, an hour charging, uh, <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, how fast that car charged. I think we gained, I don't know, like half the miles on the vehicle, like 150 miles we gained in maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It was, it was, it was disgusting. Um, and it was perfect though, because we were actually picking up some dinner at the place uh, that we were stopped at. So that worked out uh, great again. So far, the supercharging experience has been really good. And that the people that actually show up are really, the other Tesla owners are actually super friendly too, which is kind of cool. Uh, but it's really not that much, it's not really a hassle because I was going to go and eat lunch or whatever, or, you know, hit the bathroom on this road trip to start with. So if I can structure them into the trip and time them at the same time I need to supercharge, perfect. I'm killing two birds with one stone. Um, and you know, that's, that's how I'd want to do it. Of course, you know, the faster they make charging, the better, but you know, we'll see what the future holds for that. Uh, other than that, uh, the car performed, uh, beautifully. Everything was great. Uh, it really served the purpose of the trip. Well, we, we fit so much stuff into the car. You can check out, uh, my video where I actually fill up the model, my model Y and see how much I can actually fit in it. Uh, it worked really well and it was really comfortable the whole time. Uh, the only thing which was interesting that I, I didn't really think about is uh, when it calculates the range from you know point A to a supercharger to you know point B, you know you have that supercharging in the middle. Um, it calculates it based on the average you know the speed of the road. So um, at some points, um, the speed got a little bit higher than the speed on the road, which ate into the battery a little bit more. 
So the first time we supercharged, I think they estimated us at like 60 or 70 miles we were supposed to have left. Uh, but the time, by the time we got there, because of, um, you know, a little bit higher speed, uh, we only had like 40 miles left. It was, it was about 40, which was still fine, but it was like, oh, I, I see how they calculate this now. On the way home, no problems at all. And honestly, you know, I, I just had the car drive. And, you know, I, I didn't I didn't really, uh, you know, what, 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 what's the sense of, of pushing it? The car's doing the whole thing. It's like having a private driver for the weekend. Really, it is. It's, it's so nice. Uh, so with that, that is this video. This is my update on my 500-mile drive from uh, New Jersey to Virginia, my first road trip in the Tesla Model Y. Overall, excellent car, excellent experience. Charging was fast and easy. Um, I got lucky and I had uh, some free Tesla supercharging miles, so thank you. Um, you know, appreciate you guys uh, for that. So charging was actually, well, free because of those free miles. Uh, but other than that, the, the price for the charging wasn't going to be bad to start with. It was still at least half the price of gasoline, if not more. Uh, so with that, stay tuned for my next trip and my other videos. We're still waiting on the power walls. They're going to get here at some point in time for the roof. Uh, more information on the car will come in the future. And other than that, I hope you guys have an excellent day. Uh, you know, and I'll see you guys next time.